What's up guys? It's Ryantium here, and today we are back in The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt. That's right you guys, and no snap! Is it gonna be an awesome freaking day? So guys, welcome back, and happy Thursday. So today, unfortunately, will indeed be the last episode until we're back on Monday. Uh, because, like I said in the last episode, we will be gone um, Friday, Saturday, Monday. Um, so... Thank you guys so much for coming on by and checking out today's episode. Without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? So we ended off here uh, after murdering that, or after destroying that uh, that giant kind of boss. Uh, and it looks like there's more stuff going on over here. Is Kara all the way over there now? What the hell is she doing all the way over there now? <laughs> we need to talk to the uh, elf. We need to see what he has to say, Box. Oh, uh, hold on. Alright, let's see what the elf wants. Oh, wait, wait, All after right. the white frost. Let's watch this message. Okay, and Pepper, what do you know? Here, this place is no longer safe. Do not tarry here long. Trust no one. And above all, beware the witches of Crookback Bog. Crookback Bog? Try to reach the place where last we were together. Huh. Well, last we were together, not much to go on. Damn it. <laughs> Perhaps it's best he didn't leave a clearer message. The Wild Hunt broke in here shortly. They searched everything, and if they had more time, they'd probably have torn the place to the ground. But that doesn't change the fact that we haven't learned anything. Not about the Elf, not about Siri. Well, we know they were well acquainted, and traveling together. Elf warned Siri about some witches. Wonder why they split up. Wonder why they split up. Perhaps because the Wild Hunt was on the Elf's trail, and Siri would be safer if they did. Possibly. Elf warned witches, yeah, from Crookback Bog. The witches of Crookback Swamp. Crookback Bog. <laughs> Kira, if you're hiding something. But I didn't say. Do you know these witches? Didn't mention them earlier. Why? Why didn't you say anything earlier? I told you Siri had a run-in with a witch. Well, I, I had no idea you meant them. If I'd told you something, you'd have rushed off in them. But we needed first to confirm that Siri was here, didn't we? I already knew she was here. I shall tell you everything now, of course. Now? After I safely led you through the cave? I can't believe you'd think so poorly of me. Perhaps you do bear a grudge against sorceresses. Mm -hmm. Can't imagine where that comes from. Mm -hmm. Do you know these witches? You know these witches? I've never met them, but I've read of them. In an old manuscript I found in one of the huts in the village. It mentions the village witches venturing into Crookback Bog at times to liaise between the villagers and the crones, the ladies of the wood. The crones appear to be intolerant riders, but they help them. Apparently, they stop the spread of the plague in Vellum. Hmm. What's your take on this? I'd love to shrug it off as the nattering of so many old women, yet throughout my first fortnight in Vellum, I had horrible nightmares. Something was calling me out into the swamps. One night, I decided to enter the dream consciously, render it lucid. I confronted the thing directly. It broke contact at once. Peaceful nights ever since. How do I find these witches? How do I find them? The swamps are vast, dangerous, but they say the crones mark the way for peasants who wish to visit them. The manuscript mentions a chapel in Crookback Bog, and from that pool one must follow a trail of treats. Treats? Of Wait, course, that's what... They didn't read you bedtime stories at Care Morhen. That's what Greg killing, right? The gingerbread houses poised atop chicken legs. I'll have to see that to believe it. Take the tome and read it. I... I truly do leave you find you, Cirilla. All right, then. As a start, let's look for a way out of here. The Good Trail idea. of Treats was what Greta was following. That's what her dad told her to, uh, to follow and stuff like come. that. Look for info about Siri using your Witcher senses. Okay. So it looks like there's a little bit more stuff to look around here. Bestiary entry? Look at that. Oh, I just got... Torn out page Doppler decoction. Bestiary entry added berserkers and botchlings. What the fuck is going on? When did I get all of that information? What do we got? No, shut up, Siri. I wasn't talking to you. 
damn it. <laughs> uh, cursed ones. Oh, good. no, Siri, shut up. Damn it. Get out of here. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, berserkers. Skele Skelega legends speak of men who know men known as berserkers fucking Siri who transform into bears when overwhelmed by battle rage in doing so they lose all self-awareness and are driven by a bloodlust which they must satiate in order to return to human form few believe these blood curdling tales however not even in Skellige where the inhabitants usually treat the even least probable legends with the utmost gravity this indicates either that berserkers are in fact mere figments of med mead sodden imaginations or or else that they have learned to hide their abilities from the rest of the islanders uh okay that's terrifying and then what the ever-loving fuck is that thing botchlings are perhaps the most repulsive creatures a witcher will ever have the displeasure of meeting born of dead unwanted babies discarded without a proper burial their appearance is that of a partially decayed fetus their unformed flesh twisted with hate, fear, and malice. These hideous creatures feed on the blood of pregnant women driven by a mad hunger that most often leads to their victim's death. I wish I had a face cam on right now so that you could see just how grossed out I am. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so nasty. Are you me? That was so gross. But let's see, what did that thing that, what, what was the thing that we just got? It was a torn out page of something decoction. It was called Torn Out Doppler Decoction. So if it's a decoction, the Doppler decoction. Increased critical hit damage when attacking from behind. Well, okay then. I need a Doppler mutagen. What the fuck is a Doppler, dude? Okay. Uh, so let's do a little bit of looking around, see if we can find anything that will lead us to where Ciri's stuff is at. Spikadoon Akatog and Vermilion. Isn't Vermilion wine? I think? Let me see. Alchemic substances. No, that's not that. Oils. No, it's none of that. Is it a potion? No, it's not that. That Vermilion was a... Was a wine. Oh no, it must be this. Okay. Interesting. It's used in alchemy, so we won't use that at the moment, but... All right, let's see what else we have. Introduction to Applied Magic. Okay, it seems some of these books... Yes, I see that there's an entrance right there. But it seems there's a bunch of books in here that would be good to read. We might not have ever found out about botchlings and berserkers. Mysterious mage herbalist. But I'm almost okay with not knowing about those damn botchlings. Ugh. Nasty. Nasty little critters. Poor things. What's this? The potion I gave him. Seems he saw a use for it. Drunk. Huh. Okay. Wonder what the use was exactly there, Kara. I'll take the vial and the dimeridium ore, hell yeah. And then a lesser triglov runestone, a very, very nice. And then last but not least, we got some scrawled papers down and let's see what we got. No, I need you to thank you. Meaning they were looking for him. Hmm. Oh, Alright, let's see what we need to do to this door. Strange. My medallion's trembling, but there's nothing here. What's with this wall? I bet you it's not even a wall. You just walk through it. It's an illusion. I sensed it as well. I expected we might run into such things, so I brought this. Whoa. Meaning what? The Eye of Nahalami. Bless you. It dispels illusions. It's easy enough to build, so you're welcome to this one. It's bound to come in handy. Cool. And each time it does... You will think of me. I think she likes me a lot. Thanks. Cool. Use the eye. When you notice a shimmer in the air, walk toward it when you are close. Press A to dispel the illusion. A shimmer in the air. How can you see a shimmer in the air? Oh, I, they're like little white dots that pop up every now and again, I think. Okay, let's dispel it. Aha! Well, that's kind of cool. Simple. Let's see where the passage leads. All right, let's take out the torch and let's head back through here, because we got a few things we need to get done today. Do you feel that? A flow of fresh air. Left. Must be an exit that way. Good. Let's get out of here. Wait, there's still the magic lamp. The magic what now? Lamp. The elf promised it to me in exchange for my help. 
And since his return here seems doubtful, I must retrieve it myself. If I can find it, that is. Will you help? Sure, I'll help. Yeah, I'll help. Splendid. Come then. Okay. Uh, so. Okay, she's got her light. I suppose we should come down here. See if there's anything that can. See if there's anything that we can get. You were supposed now, to help me. How to use Geralt! it. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, I was. Oh, never mind. I went. That's the exit. Disregard. <laughs> I just straight up ditched her. Oops. Uh, okay. Here, let's see. I'm coming. I'm coming, Kira. I'm coming. I love how she screamed to me. Get out! Another damned riddle to me. Okay, it's probably something to do with the stat. To guess. So we've got a panther, it looks like, and a someone holding the door. No lamp right there. Uh, someone's holding a tablet, it seems, and then another like panther or a dog or something like that. Okay. So let's see. Is there anything on this that inscription here? Okay, what's it read? Can you translate the inscription? I can decipher maybe a third, but that third doesn't make much sense. Give me a minute. I was never any good at the high variant of the Elder Speech. Hmm. All right. This might seem a bit literal. I'm afraid I can't replicate its sophisticated internal rhymes. Just Translated to make sense. Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first to light his fire dared not march on the end. The second, by the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. Hmm. Sounds like a riddle, all right. Okay. All right, I'm gonna try and solve all it. Right. Let's see if we can solve this. Pretty sure it's gonna start over here. So it's one, two, three, four. I think. Let's try it. There's one. Two. Okay, nope, I was wrong about that. What do you know? My favorite thing in the world. Wraiths! Hmm. Okay, but we got the first one right, so that's good. And I mean, we'll just get extra stuff from these wraiths, most likely. Okay, the first one was correct. This is number one. Okay, that is... Okay, so no, that was not number one. Good to know. So that was not number one. Geralt, let's go, please. Thank you. Alright. Um, Seems we did something wrong. Let's try this one. Lit up like a charm. Okay, that one's correct. So he's holding nothing. Then it said he someone played. Uh, next to number one, they played something. Is this a lute in their hand? Yes, that's a lute or a guitar or something. Wait, something just happened. Mm -hmm. Behind that wall, a movement. Okay. Next is the the beast. Now we need to listen to her. Again. Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first to light his fire dared not march on the end. The second, beside the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. That one? That one. Nailed it. Ha! First try. <laughs> Perfect. Nice! That was a fun riddle. That was really cool. Okay. Whose grave is it? What do you think? No inscription, sadly. Hmm. Sign of the gull. If I didn't already know where she was buried, I'd guess this is Laura Doran's sepulchre. Perhaps it's a monument to her. Can't see the elves commemorating her this way. Heroine of a tragic legend to some, but most see her as a traitor to her race, who 
who got her just desserts for marrying Kragenin of Laud. Perhaps the elven mage is Lara's kin. It would explain why he's helping Ciri. Possible. Hmm. Well, there's your magic lamp. looking for? Uh-huh. So what's it supposed to do? Hmm. I hope I'll be able to activate it. Let's leave this place, shall we? Okay. I know there's loot over here. I'm gonna grab it. Cavalry boots? Eh, nothing too crazy. Um, okay. Cool. Now let's head back up here because there's another way up here. You didn't think that I saw it. Oh, but I did. And there's bound to be, ah, uh, what did I tell you? There's bound to be something up here. A place of power. But there's also something right there. What the fuck is that down there? You can't really see it. Okay, it's another golem, it looks like. Let's go ahead and draw from its power. Now we've got like six, six ability points, I think? Like, we are racking up the ability points. It's kind of crazy. Damn it. Aha, it's a hidden treasure. What level is this bad boy? Think we can kill it? Oh, yes, we can. Kidding me? Of course we can kill this damn thing. This is fire illusion. This is shrapnel damage. Okay. Chuck that at you. And then chuck a dancing star. And maybe another one. Okay, I don't have any more buttons. That's fine. Alright. Golem real fast. Oof. Now, did it say that golems were vulnerable to Axie? I want to try this on him. Let's try it. Aha! They are indeed. Very good to know. Okay, cool. Alright, so we'll just keep uh, axing him, stunning him a little bit, and then do some heavy attacks. I need to get a better silver sword. Honestly, we might just want to get to Novigrad. Because I'm pretty sure Novigrad is where we're going to find everybody that we need in order to make us armor and weapons and everything like that. Because I know it's a big city, and I know there's a lot in there. So I bet you that's where we need to be at to get most of our stuff that we want. Thank you for hitting the, uh, the killing blow there, Kiara. Got some of that. Golem heart again. Nice. Okay. So it looks like there's a few guarded treasures here. Silver ore string, cavalry gauntlets, enhanced beast oil, rusty Nilfgaard sword, brackers, boots, florins, phosphorus. Very cool. Let's see, are those boots better than mine? If I had to guess, probably. Uh, resistance, slashing, bludgeoning, and piercing. What are these ones? Nope, they're not better than mine. Uh, same. What do we got over here now? A lesser Perun runestone. And then last but not least, the other treasure is there. Is there anything else over here? There's a wall to get out right there. Silver ore, lesser Zoria runestone, split bolt, enhanced devil's puff ball, lesser glyph of Quen, rusty Novigrad sword, leather straps, florins, and an optima moth. Okay, cool. That was really worth it. And then if we go ahead and take out Ard, we could probably just blast our way through there. Yep, nailed it. And let's see if there's anything else through this way. Yes, a lesser Svardog runestone. And wow, even more stuff. Lesser Dalsbog, Tracker's Boots, Lunar Shards, and a lesser Chernabog stone. Nice! Got a whole bunch of good stuff coming through here. I will take that shit. Alright, well, it's a good thing it was guarded by a pretty easy golem. Uh, and there's no other way to go, correct? Yeah, no, there's nothing else over here. So now we can head back up to where we accidentally ditched Kara at the power. beginning. Should draw from it. And now, honestly, the one thing that I want to do is I want to go to an herbalist and start picking up a few things that we need to make all these alchemical, um, the alchemy substances that we need. So I want to start seeing what we can pick up in the herbalist. Uh, I also want to be able to sell some of the stuff that we have. Uh, that way we can get a decent amount of coin for all the stuff that we've got. We and go. then we can... Then we can finally take advantage of using the different oils for fighting the specific creatures and like that. You know, we can definitely Something begin here. to... Where's oh wait, what's going on? Gave me? I mean, there was a oh, water hag. At last. It was worth it, right? You learned something about Siri in the end. Something important. Do you intend to venture into Crookback Bog? You must tell me about it after. Well, obviously, I intend to go over the there. Geralt, there are two types of men. Those who see opportunity and take advantage, 
and those who forge the opportunities themselves. I've always seen you an example of the latter. Besides, I've a favour to ask you. So, visit me sometime? That sounds like you want something else. Be sure to stop by. I'll stop by. You can be sure. In that case, I shall be waiting. See ya, Kira. I mean, who wouldn't want to just jump on Geralt's bones? I mean, he's a good-looking guy. All these damn witches and their freaking portals. Jesus. I mean, yeah, it's convenient as hell to just be able to do that, but you know. Uh, there was a water hag over there, I think. There was a water hag somewhere that I saw, but there's our boat. Never had a boat before. Okay, so first off, let's save just real fast. Invitation from Kira Metz. I have to imagine that's probably going to be a little bit of a thick thing if you do, if I do say so myself. Uh, but okay, let's go ahead. Wait until we'll wait until it's dawn. That works for me. 8 a.m. A little bit of sunlight, nothing too crazy. Okay, so now, now we need to go and find ourselves an herbalist. So there was a question mark right here, and that was above the uh, hidden treasure that we found in that cave. Also, what is all of this over here? That looks like a, like, drowned arena. Holy crap, that looks cool. Okay, but where in the hell even are we? Holy freaking question marks. We gotta do all of those, man. Um, have we found an herbalist? That's alchemy supplies. We've not found an herbalist. I want an alchemist would do for us, because Carol was an alchemist. Maybe we should go and check that place out first. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, let's get Roach. Let's make sure he can just magically appear somewhere. I haven't seen him in like a year. Okay, maybe he can't magically appear out here. Not sure. Uh, but you know what we haven't really been able to, to use is our new axe. I really want to use our new axe because it looks really freaking cool. So I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and start moving my little booty on over towards where the green marker was at. And then once I get there, we should be able... Oh wait, there's more hidden treasure over here. Okay, so wait a second. Oh, wrong neighborhood! Wrong fucking neighborhood! I don't want to fight level 13 wraiths. Okay, I can fight a level 14 basilisk by myself because it's, well, one thing. But level 13 wraiths like that? I don't know how well I would do, especially with a broken silver sword. Good thing we found that hidden treasure, though. So we know where that's at. But I'm going to go ahead and mosey my way on over to there. And um, I will bring you guys back in when I get to the alchemist. Why can I not call Roach? Where the hell is he? Okily dokily, here we are. We are at the alchemist. Nothing crazy happened on the way over here. What do you know? It's a freaking miracle. All right, let's walk in here and see what this person Rat, has to sell. Oh, it's Kara. How did I know? <laughs> Better to have stuffed them with a poison or crushed them into a pulp with a shovel. But no. Did you see what he did with them? What is happening, Kira? Kira, what are you doing? Geralt. <laughs> you gave me quite a start. But nay, the mage says bring me rats and healthy ones. Not something the cat dragged in. This the lamp from the elf's hideout? And what's this about rats? Nothing important. I'll explain later. Now tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure? I was hoping to buy some shit. Um. Okay, I'd like to buy something from you. Bet the old witch who lived here left you a bunch of interesting sundries. She did indeed. I gather you'd like a look. Very of much course. so. Of course. Alright, let's see what she's got. Uh, oh my god. Whole fucking rune stones. Returns all ability points spent to develop abilities to the available pool so you can redistribute them. Look at that. Holy effing rune stones, dude. Oh, now here we go. Greater Stribog rune stone. So there's greater rune stones, huh? Okay. I wonder if there's, like, the best ones. If there's better than greater? I wonder. If, if you know if there's better than greater, do please let me know. Lesser rune stones. Can I craft greater rune stones? Not really, no. Maybe I can. Chort lure? Black blood. Okay. Alchemy formula for hybrid oil, elemental oil, and northern wind. 
Okay, that's a bomb. Yeah, it explodes on impact. Nice. What's this? Draconid oil. And Quebrith. Okay, there's, so there's a bunch of stuff here. Also, she does sell alchemical ingredients. That's pretty cool. All right, let's sell some stuff to her, shall we? Um, let's go over here. And let's sell her these rune stones because honestly, I'm gonna keep I'm just gonna keep selling them until I can make my own greater ones or find better ones. And then we can go and sell those to her. Sell that to her. Okay, so all of that we need. Can I sell any of these other stuff? No, okay. And then food and drink, can't sell any of that stuff. Okay, so let's see. Um we need to go to alchemy and we need to go ahead and pin some of these substances. Uh, let's see. This cherry cordial potions. Okay. So let's pin, let's pin that. Let's pin that first. Let's go to the shop. So let's see what else we need in order to make that. We need a water essence. Do you by any chance sell water essence? She doesn't sell water essence. Okay. Right. Right. Maybe I can't really get what I need from her. I already have nine out of four Berber cane fruit. So that works. We do need Arianar, uh, this thing, Arenaria. We do need Blowball. We do need Celandine. Let's go back to alchemy and see if we can craft anything now. Oils. Okay, so I can do this one. Hanged Man's Venom. Necrophage Oil. And Spectre Oil. Hell yeah, dude. That makes me very, very happy. Uh, ducal water. I don't think she had that, but we can check and see if she does. That needs enhanced beast oil. Bison grass and rubido. Let's get all the blue ones first. Uh, okay, so now we need wolf's liver. That we could probably find out in the wild. Insectoid. Do you have ranagrin? Let's see if she's got ranagrin. It's so fun shopping for ingredients, especially when you have the money to do that. Uh, she does. She has ranagrin. She does have ducal water. Looks like. Yeah, she does. I think I only, need, I only need one more. Okay, let's see what else we can do. There's that one. And vampire oil. Oh, hell yeah, dude. All right, so now we need... Okay, so un unpin that one. We just need a dwarven spirit for this. And we just need uh, a lot more things for this. Uh, so we won't be able to do the potions today. But the oils, definitely. Beast oil, that's wolf liver. But this one, what's that? Mistletoe. Let's see if she has mistletoe. I, I guarantee you she's got mistletoe. Let's go ahead and scroll down, see if we can't find the mistletoe. If she doesn't, I'll be very sad. Nope, it's right here. Perfect. I just need five. There we go. So now, we've got pretty much every single oil that we needed which is great, except for beast oil. Now, she wouldn't happen to have any wolf sliver. I haven't seen it in there, I don't think. But if she does, I'll be shocked. No. Okay, so it's mostly just flowers here. Uh, she does not have wolf sliver, but that's good to know. We need to find ourselves a... We need to find a herbalist in order to buy that. Uh, but I wonder, should I buy some of these so that I can craft these glyphs? Oh, gr greater glint... Wait, you can craft greater ones. This one might be really good to buy because then we can stack Quen. Oh, but Igni, we could make an entire fire casting set. That'd be dope. Okay, let's not get a, let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet. Uh, we'll come back See. and do the the request for her after we've done a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, but okay, now that we have a bunch of those oils, I'm pretty happy with how far we've gotten with that. Uh, with that, is there anything else that I wanted to do in today's episode? Um, no more things to read in the bestiary. What kind of quests do we have? Family matters, that's to go and for the Baron and stuff like that. Witcher contracts, those are all way out of my thing. Um, oh, okay. Find the diagrams for all the elements of Viper School gear. Find Colgrim's remains. 
looks like we can possibly finish that off, but maybe in the next episode. So, thank you guys so much for coming on by. Like I said at the beginning of the episode, we will not be back tomorrow, uh, because unfortunately I ran out of time. Uh, but we will be back on Monday with another episode of The Witcher. There won't be any Star Wars this weekend, as I ran out of time to record those as well. Um, and then, if you want to come back to the, the live streams today, you can absolutely do so. So, thank you guys so much for coming on by, and we will see you in the next video.